This video is sponsored by Xtern. broke out on August 14th that Sujin is leaving GI. You know this one was coming. What? Oh my god! Oh! 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 Wow! Of course, I'm talking about the company that handles Idol and how they nearly ruined this rising giant in K-pop. But of course, wait, do, do y'all hear something? Where is that noise coming from? What happened to Idol? Why did Cube handle the whole bullying scandal the way they did? And what happened to Sujin? Like really, what has she been up to? And now what will happen to Idol with Sujin gone? Will they continue on or will they do their own individual things? And real quick before we get started, if you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe and hit the like button. That shows me you enjoy these type of videos and to basically make more of them. We all know Idol and how musically artistic this girl group is and how on top of their game they were from day one. But why? How did they stand out from the cookie cutter girl groups in K-pop? I think everyone would point to her, Chun Soyeon, Idol's rapper and leader. Growing up a creative homeschooled kid, Soyeon showed off her talent in rapping way before Idol was even an idea. From Produce 101 Season 1 where Soyeon plays 20th then Unpretty Rap Star where she bodied individuals double her age. And Cube even debuted Soyeon before Idol with the song Jelly. That song is still a guilty pleasure of mine, Soyeon's songs just pop. And Cube actually agreed. That is why out of the 23 or so songs Idol have made over their almost 5 year career, Soyeon is credited in writing in all of them plus producing and arrangement in most of them as well. That is what creates this original creative package Idol brings to the table. If you have an Idol like this who can do everything in your company, it's like striking gold. Now I know it seems like I've been hyping up Soyeon this whole time, and that's because I did. Soyeon is a genius, but she isn't the only reason for Idol's surprise rise in K-pop. Other members definitely bring in some talent as far as dancing ability, singing ability, unique voices, and representing more multicultural diversity in K-pop for more Southeast Asian representation. Now let's take a trip down memory lane. Cube was a love child of two presidents from JYP Entertainment and Play Cube Inc. The company didn't really pop off till the 2010s when K-pop had its first like international wave with artists like 4 Minute, Beast. We're talking about some old school K-pop here. Almost as old as my wallet. Seriously, this was my wallet. It's big, bulky, uncomfortable, and simply falling apart. No wonder it seems like money is always falling out of my wallet. And don't blame my K-pop purchasing habits. I can't. Maybe even your boyfriend or significant other's wallet looks like this one. You know what? Valentine's Day is coming soon. Luckily, Exter got me and you covered. Exter is a brand that is focused on creating products to improve the way you carry your everyday items. I never really knew I needed this thing, but I'm glad I got it now. Exter fits your everyday items in a smart, compact, and easy to use wallet. With this slide-out feature, you can fit up to 6 cards and effortlessly pull out one to use. There's also a money strap for your cash. Oh, and there's RFID protection included, so no one can scan your cards for personal info. Plus, they offer this life-saving tracker card. Just lost your wallet? Well, with this baby in there, you can open up the app connected with the tracker, and you can see the exact location on your phone. But I got you a special Valentine's Day offer for your significant other, or you. Use the link in the description for this video, and you can save 20% off your order on Exter. Make sure to use the link to let them know I sent you, plus it helps me out and the channel. That's 20% off. Thank you to Exter for these dope wallets and for sponsoring. And now back to my video. And continuing on with B2B, which got more and more recognition in Korea as they got older. COC dealt with years of struggle until finally getting their big break. But aside from groups, idols would have to basically work overtime. Hyuna with her own solo work, and again in the duo Troublemaker, which if you're a new K-pop fan, you gotta go check it out for the uh culture. Hyuna again with Triple H, and once CLC came to an end, Yujun still under Cube when Two Girls Planned in 999, where she competed to, thank god, debut again in Kepler. Watada, watada, you know what I'm talking about. Even Soyeon with her solo work and teaming up with her fellow idol member Mion in the culture reset that brought three worlds together, Gribus, the Weebs, and Gamers in KDA.
that may sound like a bad thing, but we can admit we're all at least one of them. And if you say no, you're lying to yourself. Uh, what do I do these days? Uh, oh, you, you could, you know, watch anime. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kizukimashita ka. My point is that the artists made Cube, putting in the work and sometimes overworking to bring themselves and the company up. But Idol was on fire from the go. Yeah, you remember, right? It was 2018. BTS was just about to embark on an invasion in America with fake love and soon DNA. Oh, and Hyuna and Pentagon member Lee Don, aka Don, was kicked out of Cube Entertainment for dating. Huh, it's funny. Not like Cube has a history of kicking people out of their company. Latata being Idol's debut song was also the first song that got them their first ever win. I mean, to do that with their first ever song, not many have done it in K-pop history. From there, many were quick to put Idol and the next generation of K-pop in the same sentence. And how could you not? You could tell that these girls were going places. Now many may not believe it, but you gotta have good music to be successful. And Idol has nothing but good music. From Han. To Senoritas. To probably what I would say, what happens when you are a queen like a lion. And as if they had to remind the Korean public how talented they are as a group, Idol competed in the Mnet show Queendom, where existing girl groups competed for fun basically and to get some notoriety. And Idol came up with the song Lion for the finale. Lion was basically K-pop cinematic and a musical standard masterpiece. You could slide it into the K-pop version of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but it wasn't just these bigger projects or title tracks that exceeded K-pop fans' expectations. Even B-sides, other songs that are not the title tracks in their albums, and songs made for fans like I'm the Trend. <laughs> make me throw it back. Idol also made huge moves in Southeast Asia with tours and charting with their music and even taking on America, signing with Republic Records for US promotions, which didn't really happen. You know, the pandemic and all that. Just when Idol was on a personal record-breaking year for the group with the release of Qua, that by the way, won 10 music show wins and even a triple crown on M Countdown. Seriously, the timing could not have been worse for Sujin and her alleged past being pushed into the spotlight. Even though it was a complete tsunami of accusations against many idols of being bullies in their school years, Sujin's case stood out among the public due to the actress So Shin -hye. Without going too much into it because you know probably already what happened, Sujin was called out on social media by over four anonymous people claiming Sujin in her school days was violent, stole from others, drank, smoke, and more. The original poster soon deleted the claims due to people questioning them and not providing any proof, except the graduation photo of Sujin in middle school before she began training to be an idol. The second anonymous person came forward with the same claims, but did have more photos of Sujin in middle school. That didn't really prove much, except this person did attend the same middle school at the same time as Sujin. That post was also deleted. The third anonymous person came forward claiming to be the older sister of the victim of Sujin's bullying. This one explained a scenario when Sujin made her little sister be an outcast from the rest of the school. This is when Korean media began to publicize more and more about Sujin and these accusations of being a bully. After a few more minor claims against Sujin, an actress So Shin -e posting a mysterious IG story saying, none of your excuses. Without really pointing towards Sujin, netizens believe she was talking about her, since she too attended the same middle school. Finally, Cube and Sujin spoke up, 
denying the claims. Sujin in her public letter mentioned she wasn't perfect in school, like smoking and breaking dress code, but she never assaulted anyone, rode a motorcycle, like what? Provoked bullying or even talked to actress Sojine in middle school. After that, it was basically a back and forth about facts and proof, with a few lawsuits about defamation. Former classmates of Sujin came to her defense, pointing out holes in the accuser's stories. Plus, Sojine followed up sticking to her claims against Sujin. And would you believe it? Nothing really came out. No evidence, no proof, and no resolution, except Sujin being crushed by all of this. Okay, I gotta keep it real with you. In many of these cases where so much time has passed, it is difficult to find really solid, undeniable evidence. Could something have happened? Yes. Will we ever know? No. But still, Cube decided to remove Sujin from her group, Idol. Why did they do this? Well, technically, Sujin is still an artist under Cube to this day because her contract is still active. It wasn't canceled. Cube did this move to have Sujin lay low and take some heat off the company and more importantly, the group. But Idol didn't come back since Hua. The members went off to promote in their home countries and solo work until recently the members returned to Korea. And a new album and comeback is rumored to happen this year. Can Sujin return? Well, yes, but no. The damage has been done. Idol's amazing growth was cut down. Sujin coming back would be the right thing to do for the artists in the group, but maybe not after they basically already made their decision. Cube has made horrible decisions for years now. However, Cube is way too big to fail, but not too big to fail their artists. But what I do know is we can't let this group that surprised us, made us have chills when they were on stage performing, and created a standard in K-pop go like this, especially go on without the six of them.